Hey folks, Phil Zito here, and welcome to day 17 of the BAS Bootcamp. We're going to continue looking at programming. So yesterday we went through the programming process. Today we're going to talk about design patterns. Design patterns are an approach to programming that enables you to be able to write programs from scratch. Oftentimes when you go through a lot of OEM training, what will happen is they'll teach you to use their tool, but they won't teach you how to program. So the extent of programming that you're going to learn is how to follow a workbook and drag and drop blocks exactly according to the workbook. But when you get out in the field, you're going to find yourself challenged to actually go and write programs. So this design pattern approach is really neat because basically you're creating Lego blocks. And these Lego block patterns can come together to actually write programs. Now, we showed this yesterday, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, when we looked at a comparative pattern. Let's take a look at that again real quick. So let's say that I am told when outdoor air, so let's zoom in here on this real quick, when outdoor air temp is greater than outdoor air set point or out there where enable set point then i'm gonna go and turn on my economizer so if outdoor air temp is greater than outdoor enable set point i am going to have and we could just call this econ enable that is going to give me an output which is going to drive my economizer being enabled now, this could then go and drive a PID loop that is driving towards mixed air temp. So let's grab another input. Let's put this input up here. Let me drag this over a little bit so you can see it. We're going to call this input MAT. And let's create another analog value. We're going to put it up here. We're going to call this MAT set point. And so now we have mixed air temp, mixed air temp set point, and let's add a analog output. Do, 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 there we go. All right, and let's make this our uh, economizer O. This could be OAD as well. But what we have going on here now is we have two patterns actually taking place. We have our comparative pattern. So if I read anything where it says when X, so let's look at this sequence over here, right? When outside air is less than 65, comparative pattern. Outside air temp is less than 65, comparative pattern. Mixed air temp drops from 45 to 40 hysteresis pattern. So we're starting to see all these different patterns. And I see controller shall measure zone temp and modulate heating valve to maintain heating set point. Okay, that tells me, guess what? PID loop pattern. And so as I start to read these sequences and I know my design patterns, I'm able to program. So really the true gist of all of this is threefold, understanding your logic blocks, understanding how sequences work, and understanding the software. The uh, OEM training will teach you the software. We have training that will teach you how logic blocks work and actually all of these design patterns. And then we have training that will teach you the HVAC sequencing as well. But you, you see this pattern right here, right? Mixed air temp, mixed air set point, PID loop, so input, set point, enable point, economizer outputs so or output being driven off of our PID loop. And with this particular software, we can provide feedback. So this is a design pattern and you can start to see how these patterns come into play. Now let's take another pattern. Let's say that we wanted to go and we were told, Hey, when a supply fan, so we're told supply fan is commanded on, right? The supply fan is commanded on based on occupancy. And then the supply fan will stay on unless it has a run failure or a status failure. And if it has either of those, after 30 seconds, it's going to latch on and require a manual reset. So we're going to have our awk command to our hardware output 
to our supply fan command. This is a occupancy command pattern right there, pretty straightforward. We're gonna have our supply fan status, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of this right here and we're gonna create a very simple latching reset pattern. So we're gonna take a latch and we're gonna call this SF-A. Okay, and what's gonna happen here is that we're gonna take an exclusive or. Do, 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 if I can find logic on here, there we go. Take an exclusive or. And we're gonna say, if we have fan status and we have command, then we don't have an alarm, right? We don't have an alarm. But if we have supply fan status and no command, or we have command and no supply fan status, then we're gonna have alarm. Now, before we do that, we actually wanna put a on delay in here. In this case, it's known as a start delay. So we would put our start delay in here. We'd use some internal constants. So we set this to one to enable it. We do another internal constant, set this to 30 for 30 second delay. Go here, we see it's set to seconds. We have our output coming here. Okay, and then we can go and create a reference hub in this particular software, this basically allows us to use this output in other parts of the program. And then we can go here and grab this thing called a falling edge, which is their version of a one shot. A one shot is it sets, even if I left, which I'll show you in just a second, I'm gonna go here and grab a binary value and we're gonna call this uh, supply fan alarm reset. Even if I left this true, this falling edge would only pass once. So it only passes when it goes on. See right here, on, turns off. So we see that. And you, you could use a rising edge as well. You could use that if we wanted to, um, which is what we may use. It just depends on how you want this program to work. You can use falling edge or rising edge. But you can see right here, this is a pattern created. It's actually two patterns. We have our occupancy command pattern, and then we have exclusive or going into a delay with a supply fan reset, with a latching alarm. And then we would actually go and delete this right here. Go and grab our logical and. And we could then take our reference target. I'll put it here. SFA, back this guy up, actually put a knot in here. Do, 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 find logic, there it is. I'm going blind in my old age. Here we go, and there you have it. This pattern right here will say, hey, as long as we don't have an alarm and we have awk command, our supply fan status. So if we build this, it's all good. And here's our alarm right here, looking at output as well as supply fan status. So if someone put this in hand, or if for some reason we were getting status even though it wasn't on, there's a variety of different things, or it was on and we weren't getting status, it's all right here. So thanks a ton for watching. I hope this really helps you understand programming and the design pattern approach. If you have any questions, please post them below the video. Thanks a ton and take care.